Welcome back to another video. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing about creating and visualization decision tree plots using python. So if you stick till the end of this video, you will be having an idea of plotting and customizing decision trees. Before moving forward, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and turn on bell notification to stay updated each time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a like for this video as it will be helpful for the algorithm. Stay tuned. So first let's import the required libraries. So here we are importing matplotlib for creating our plots. Then we are importing datasets as we will be using the iris dataset for this notebook. And then we are importing the decision tree classifier. Now let's load the data. So here we are splitting the data and the target variables. Now let's load the classifier and fit the x and y on the classifier. Now that we have used the decision tree classifier to classify the data, let's visualize the classifier data by creating a simple decision tree plot. So now we have a decision tree plot, but it looks so small. We can change the figure size to make the plot bigger. But before that, a small word on decision tree plots. There are three different types of nodes in a decision tree plot the root node, the decision node and the terminal or the leaf node. The decision nodes decide to which nodes the descendant should go to. This decision is based on the features of the selected sample such as the Gini index. More on that in a later video. So now let's change the figure size. There. Now that looks more readable. So from this plot we can see how the classifier has classified the data. Now let's start customizing the plot. You can add color to the plot by setting the filled value to true. By default, the filled value will be set to false. So let's see what happens when we set the filled parameter as true. Similarly, we can change the shape of the node boxes to rounded instead of sharp corners by setting the rounded parameter. As we can see the nodes have a rounded edge. Another customization that we can perform in our decision tree plot is to change the depth of the tree. A thing to note here is that by default if we do not specify the depth of the tree here the entire tree will be plot. So let's change the depth of the tree. So here we are setting the max depth as 3. And as you can see, this is our initial plot. And let's see what happens when we change the depth of the tree. And so now the tree depth has been updated. Instead of plotting the decision tree using matplotlib, we can also plot the decision tree using graphviz. So to plot the decision tree using Graphviz, you need to first install Graphviz if the package is already not installed. And since I've already installed the package, it says requirement already satisfied. Now let's import the Graphviz library. Now let's pass in the data to plot the decision tree using Graphviz.
Now all we need to do is to print the tree and specify the necessary formats. As we can see, we have the decision tree plotted. We can also save the graph externally. Let's see how to do that. So when we type in this command, the plot is automatically saved externally as a PNG file format. And you can also download it as a PNG file format. See? Now using GraphVis, there is one more visualization method by which you can visualize the different decision trees. That is by using DTreeVis. Let's see how to do that. Now in this plot, we can see the feature that is used by the classifier for splitting the data based on the different classes. The small triangle on the x-axis is used to indicate the split. Here the leaf nodes are indicated by the different pie charts. Now this representation can also be saved externally. Well the thing to note here is that this visualization method can be saved only in an SVG file format. So to save it in an SVG file format, we can just type in So this saves the plot in an SVG file format. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got an idea of visualizing and modifying decision trees in Python. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.